<sighs> hey everybody, this is Mark. This is several hours from the last part, and I got quite a th quite a bit of things to say about this game. <laughs> okay, let me just backtrack a bit. I got a lot of things to say about this particular part of the DLC, which uh, I can feel it. Oh, I can't wait to let scene. loose. I'm not used to holding back. The fools and men will join you. Join the summer to let's sight you. The Kaida one. That looks blind. Oh, yeah. Receive the final battle. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna let you guys know how I feel about what was going on up to this point. And I'm assuming this is the thing to let you come back up. Ah. <laughs> Interesting. So if you ever, ever have to come back here to, to show off to your friends that you can do this battle. Wow. Look at, look at that. Imagine failing so hard you have to go ahead and uh, do the entire thing over again. Oh, that's a real hate. Whoa! <laughs> Massive loading. Okay, well, at least we know. Wow. So this will take us to the final battle. Okay, so I just want to use this time, this, this free time to kind of... Okay. <laughs> I want to use this free time to kind of talk about what I went through with this. This DLC was... Fun. It was stressful, but it was fun. And I, I gotta say, Sega, Sonic Team, whoever designed this, this, these level designs up to the, you know, for each of these towers, for all these challenges for the Sonic and Friends stuff, I give them kudos for making things stress-inducing for a final, really final, final map battle. You, you, you compare these parts to the, the last parts of my previous playthrough. Big difference in terms of tents, and scaling of levels. There's some mean parts, mind you, mean parts. But I, I, I powered through. I, I did it, and I managed to get what I needed. Right? I got all the towers. I'm very happy with what I did. No problem whatsoever. We get to this one. This guy right here, and it is very apparent that what they were trying to go for was a perfect pair. I know people can do it. And I know you're about to say right now, Mark is a complainer and does not, this game's perfect. Uh, <laughs> but let me let you know. The perfect parry system with the bosses is so hard to pull off because these bosses were not designed with this thing in mind. I looked everywhere online to see how I could be able to deal with the perfect parry. How I could cheese the bosses because I would have been stuck here for hours. Almost feels like purgatory of just trying to get past that one boss. I'm gonna tell you right now, Giganto, easy. I, I found the exploit where you're able to go ahead and, and uh, side loop him early, so he doesn't really touch you. You can do it within 40 rings. Wyvern is the boss that broke me. I was playing on hard before all this. I played everything up to this point on hard. And I had to change it to easy because, because this boss was a pain in the butt. Okay? I played the entire DLC with hard mode. The moment we get to this boss rush, which limits you to 400 rings, spread between all three of them, no different patterns, but the biggest problem is that your counter is extremely nerfed. You have like a three second window for hard mode. That window goes up to like four, uh, no, like four, five seconds or six seconds if you're on easy. 
and it feels so much more relieving. It doesn't feel fun to go fighting these bosses for hours just to go and hope that you can get past Ryver. Like I said, Giganto, easy. I didn't even get to, to see the knight because Wyvern on his second phase requires you to perfect parry him in order to do any damage. If there is a way to go ahead and do things without having to rely on the parry system, you, I'd be okay. I'd be like, okay, there's other options besides this. But the fact that they forced you to use a very limited parry on hard mode, I don't think... I, okay, I, I saw a big difference between hard mode and, and uh, easy mode. Dang day. I don't think they should have made hard, quote unquote, hard mode limiting your, uh, nerfing your abilities. I think they should have just had stuff that took advantage of your abilities in a more advanced way. To me, this almost killed my love for this DLC. Because I, I typically like playing Sonic games with a challenge, but this was not a challenge. This felt cheap. And especially with Wyvern and how its moveset is, there's no way that you can reliably as a first like me take care of dealing with the counters every single time perfectly this is do you want us to get to the very end of the game now i'm never gonna play this game on extreme there's nothing for me to prove on that one. Oh, nice it's raining but the main problem i have with this is that this took so long it drained me i almost felt like i wanted to put this on paper mario or not making in terms of games i do not want to pick up anymore but then i remember if it wasn't for the fact that i could just switch it to easy at any time I would have completely um, um, dropped it. So, if it wasn't for easy, I would have dropped it. Flat, flat, plain and simple. It makes it bearable. The Wyvern boss is less of a cheap threat towards you. And getting to the knight was actually way easier than the Wyvern ever was. It feels like the Wyvern was the final boss of the game. I'm putting it back on hard mode. If I end up getting to the final boss, which I've seen it. I already seen it online when it was leaked. But when we get to there and it is... Difficult to the point where it's not fun, you know, with your 400 ring count. I am just going to put it on easy and just have a good time. Because at the point of the day is, I want to make sure my game is fun to play. If there's some challenge in there, yes, thank you. But I don't think that this hard mode, quote unquote, is a challenge. It's more of a tedious, you have to be perfect on the reaction that is not necessarily fine to it. So I just want to get that out of the way. You guys are going to see like an abrupt cut when... Um, Giganto, Giganto starts out on the fight, and that's where I went. I spiral down, like explodes. Until it explodes, go home. <laughs> I'm gonna be here for a while, and I was. I was here for like four hours after he left, and then I finally caved in. And I did the easy mode. I, after seeing all the guides, I could not react on time to Ryburn. His, his reaction, his, his telegraph, is not something I can pick up. So, giving me the, the extra leniency with this just feels better. And yeah, I just want to get that out of the way. Possibly next week, or if we have time with Explodes this week, we'll go ahead and finish up the final boss. This is literally what I believe is the final boss, so we are going to save here. But I wanted you to kind of see my frustration and let you under guys understand. This is what I feel about this DLC. It started out so great, but this one should be fixed if possible to make it comfortable enough for you to enjoy it because you're trying to get to the end of the game if you get stopped here you're not going to be able to see what is lurking behind it and honestly i i've been wanting to get to this final boss fight for such a long time the fact that it stonewalled me here where we could have already beaten this game 10 times over kind of salt us a little will i go back to this game as often as the others probably not but I'm happy I did get through all these level challenges on hard mode and just had to whip out for the easy mode on, on this boss rush. This boss rush is stupid and I hope I never have to play something like this ever again because this was took too much of my, my real life time and I got very limited funds on that. So anyway, enough of me babbling. Uh, thank you guys for watching this one. Next part we will go ahead and deal with the final boss regardless of what happens. If I have to go to easy, we'll see what happens. Until next time. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.